once when we were on a bus between some cities, we discussed the things that happened in their early years. Time was spent alone while living with an uncle only, only half remaining from a foreign war. His upper half was well enough, but but in his legs, between his cuffs and where his zipper stopped, his legs were gone. So he rolled around on wheels, self-sufficient in a peeling little house he could not paint again. But it was spotless to a point, two feet above the floor, and warmth was in his smile. Laugh in the face. People that they met were few, might have been disturbed by two that look so strange, but they're not aware. For living with their stumpy uncle, who was unconcerned and rumpled, made them see things differently. They thought that we were put together randomly, just like the weather, with no uniformity in mind. But that vision only lasted for a while, until he passed away and they were sent off to a home. The children there did not have parents, they were all alike and always staring as they sat on the chairs above the ground. So they cried and then withdrew from those that shouted and laughed and who were mean because of suffering inside. Once alone, they heard some children shouting that a car had killed one of their pets out in the road ahead. As they approached the fallen body, blood appeared. And then they saw a leg that had been torn away somehow. So they kneeled upon the ground and lifted up the leg they found and wedged it gently just below the spot where both their shoulders joined together. And then the sun, which had been set and winked, sun returned above them. No one laughed and made fun of them. For the dog was looking at the joint, barking loud and resurrected, and causing them to be respected by those who had avoided them before.